Patricia Keneally Morrison, the one-time rock journalist and partner of Doors singer Jim Morrison, died July 23 at the age of 75. To all of you who have supported our beloved Lizard Queen, I wanted to let you know that she passed this morning, Keneally Morrison's Lizard Queen Press, the company she founded to release her fiction work, wrote on Facebook at the time. To say we are all reeling from the news is an understatement. We will miss our friend very, very much. She was a beautiful soul, a talented writer, and a loving and wonderful friend. The Los Angeles Times reports that Kenny Lee Morrison was found dead in her New York City apartment in late July. The cause of death has since been ruled complications from heart disease. A self-proclaimed author, ex-rock critic, Dame Templar, Celtic witch, ex-go-go dancer, Lizard Queen. Not in that order, Patricia Kennelly, she later changed the spelling of her last name, and added the hyphenate Morrison in 1979, was one of the first rock journalists, first as a fanzine writer and eventually as editor-in-chief of jazz and pop magazine at the end of the 60s. It was during her tenure at that magazine that she interviewed Morrison, sparking a year-long romance between the two that culminated with the pair spiritually linking to one another in a Celtic hand fasting ceremony. Essentially, Morrison and Keneally Morrison were tied together by a, not legally binding, blood vow. The ceremony featured in Oliver Stone's Morrison biopic The Doors, with Keneally Morrison herself appearing on screen as the Wicca priestess alongside Val Kilmer's Jim Morrison in her own character, played by Kathleen Quinlan. Keneally Morrison also served as a consultant on The Doors, but later condemned the film and its director. If Oliver had been at that screening, we would never have had to worry about his, next, movie JFK I would have killed him, Keneally Morrison said in 1992, via the New York Times. Keneally Morrison's dissatisfaction with the doors led her to pin her own memoir about her experiences with Morrison, Strange Days, My Life With and Without Jim Morrison as well as a biography of her time in rock journalism, 2013's Rock Chick, A Girl and Her Music. She later founded Lizard Queen Press, a riff on Morrison's I Am the Lizard King declaration, and become a prolific author of fiction, penning a series of Celtic-based fantasy novels dubbed The Celtiad and a line of seven murder mysteries inspired by the 60s rock scene, among the titles are Ungrateful Dead, Murder at the Fillmore and, most recently, 2016's Daydream Reaver, Murder on the Good Ship Rock and Roll. Patricia was as fierce as they come, writer Ellen Sander told the Los Angeles Times. She was in that first wave of rock journalists that penetrated print media with features and news that nourished a voracious but widely unrecognized readership at the time. She evolved from what she considered to be a small-minded coterie of rock music journalists to become a popular genre fiction author and produced an astonishing volume of works.